bloody fantastic. Skins.cash is a great way to instantly sell your skins. You get the best prices on the internet and bonuses. It's secure and fast. They accept all kinds of payments, including PayPal and Visa and MasterCard. Check out skins.cash, the best way to sell your skins now. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to a lovely little video on when behaviors cause backfire and certain consequences that have fallen out as a result. On July 28th, 2017, the Dota 2 team had a hard look at itself and went, you know what, we really need to make Dota more accessible to new players. We're burning far, uh, just about as many people out as we are losing, and we're not growing as a group, and this is bad. This is very bad, particularly given that other MOBAs are stomping ahead with growth. So, what do they do? Well, several things. Um, the hero selection system got improved, but critically, they introduced a feature that matches new players against players with consistently high behavior scores. Um, on the grounds that, of course, it's especially important for a new player to have a good social experience. Many of you will see in quite a few Reddit posts where someone's played the, you know, Dota and then by game five they get completely flamed and burnt out and wrecked by everyone about them because they don't have a clue what they're doing. And this, unfortunately, is an experience we've all had um, and know all too well. Now, the big, uh, the big crux point of it, I suppose, is that that has had, shall we say, an unintended knock-on effect. Because when you're uh, effectively forcing people to be matched together by, with behavior score, which, by the way, I completely agree with, what happens is new players are actually getting paired up with extremely good, very, very experienced, say, 4K MMR players, who basically, um, and again, this is all unranked, by the way, uh, who basically, when they play Dota in the unranked mode, have quite a bad gaming experience mainly because you go on you go on ranked they're measuring you up with with your behavior score you're a really nice guy people work with you really well that's great okay cool i love being 4k wonderful and then oh no i've just been matched with someone who has just started playing dota in an unranked match and completely wrecked your game um and obviously it's like you know you want to win you want to win your matches and they're new players. New players aren't necessarily going to be nice, going to have nice behavior. But critically, of course, there's nothing more frustrating than when you're an experienced player that when you get paired up with someone who is, shall we say, very inexperienced, it's just painful. Continuous feeding uh, and devastation across the board, really. Um, so, you know, people have sort of complained, as it were, that this this uh, behavior score is is backfiring. And, you know, I do, I do sympathize. I do sympathize. So how do we respond to this? Naturally, of course, you, you would be forgiven if you're like, screw it, I'm going to start abandoning games and get a really bad score. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I think, I think for me, this isn't a major issue in the sense that um, it doesn't affect ranked. Now, when you're MMR on the line, people, you know, that, that is a, a, a big trigger point. I'd be very, very angry if it was MMR. But in terms of unranked matches, yes, that is frustrating being paired up with someone who's a new player. But the chances are you also play against someone that's a new player. And that kind of cancels it out, really. Statistically, on average, you know, there's more likely the enemy team will get a new player than you will. You know, very much similar to, oh, what happens when you get a feeder on your team? It's the same kind of uh, mantra and logic as that. Um... So I don't, I don't feel like it's, it, it should be a massive thing that we should get really uh, hot about. But I do think it should be mitigated in the sense that if someone is like 4 or 5k, what are they doing being paired up with new players? Like Valve probably doesn't need to offset that. But it does once again highlight this need to make a much, much bigger thing out of behavior score and, you know, make that a, a way bigger thing. And I think, you know... Uh, sadly, that Reddit post got banned because you're not allowed to promote it from an external source, which is annoying. Um, but I still believe that it needs to be a big public label. I still really, really think that you know, similar to your, you know, your player rank and your your MMR, I think there should also be a behavior score rank that's really public that you can see all the time, and you can see um, you know where you are, and you have something to to build up to and achieve. And I think it needs to be. You know, a big deal. It needs to be a big deal. Oh, wow, you've got a 10K behavior score. That's amazing. Um, and, and you know, like I say, make 
make Valve, uh, Valve needs to make it into like a huge global thing that everyone's talking about and everyone's engaging with and everyone can see their score all the time uh, and, and consider that very heavily when they're playing Dota. And I think that genuinely that act will revolutionize Dota and make it a far more generally positive experience. Because a lot of people I think currently kind of are like, oh yeah, you know, oh, I'm just going to be a complete douchebag to people because, well, I can and, you know, I don't care, whatever. I don't even care. But but actually, it's, it's it, you know, it wrecks games. It, you lose more games on average. And it makes Dota crap, not only for those that play it, but also for the for the community at large and the, and the future of the game as well. So, you know, that's, it's kind of a big thing there. But I think, I think you know, with those who are like, who, who do have good behavior scores, being matched up in an unranked match with someone who is, you know, low skill is something that should be mitigated by Valve, absolutely. But I think also you got to take the rough with the smooth. And I think on average, having that really high behavior score means that when you are matching, you will get matched up with similar high skill players and you'll do really well. And your good behavior score means that you're not going to get some toxic feeder that rages at you more often and blah, 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 blah. Um, and I think, I think some people also underestimate sort of behavior score quite a lot of its impact. You know, so we had some, somebody saying, or, you know, people have said stuff like, oh man, what's the big deal about behavior score? Just mute somebody. But the thing is, low behavior score doesn't just do that. It does other things as well. Uh, it doesn't just mean rude people that you can mute. It means people are more likely to throw on purpose. They're more likely to get angry for no reason. And they're more likely to not be willing to cooperate with the team. And, you know, when you play some games, when you play games with someone on average with a 9.5k 9 score, you're you're going to find that when you're ranking against people who are like 6k with their behavior score, so, you know, really awful, how awful the gaming experience is. So don't, don't, don't be tempted to think, oh man, low behavior score is crap. It's like, do you know what? It's not. It's actually really, really all, it, 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 sorry, high behavior score is really crap. It's not. It's really, really good and will give your Dota um, experience a, a insanely, much better experience and uh, and like i say it's also good for people around you if you care about that sort of thing uh anyway really so uh so yeah still stay strong with the behavior score uh do of course find your out check out the other video for that and uh do keep posting in reddit and start making thing you know we need to start making uh behavior score a much bigger more public thing in Dover. everybody thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more great stuff see you soon goodbye